Hold on to your butts. These are the Squashbuckler Diaries. Welcome back! My name is Guy Hasson, and you are listening to the Squashbuckler Diaries podcast. The podcast about Joy Shelley, the girl who lives in dreams from birth to death. And we are doing it slowly, taking our time, learning who she is. And right now, and right now in season one, she's between ages two and six. We will get to ages zero to two, but I think that's not the thing that interests you now. We would like to see her grow up. So we see who she is before she grows up. And, you know, many times, often, she is left alone. Yesterday, we established the two sons. So we've established that before, but we didn't actually, like, uh, make a point of it. And uh, today, we're going to talk about uh, the sons uh, in a story that actually takes place before the story uh, we told yesterday. Justin, Joy's father is only there when he's asleep. And when he's awake, she has the whole dream to live in. She has a flying ship she can take anywhere. And she could get into trouble. And sometimes, that's what happens. Sometimes. Maybe often. Sometimes. So let's begin. Episode 160, Too Close to the Suns. Joy's age four, Told by the Red Dragon. Four-year-old Dragon Lil woke up early and having nothing to do, took the pirate ship that is her home for a joyride in the sky. Bunny's revenge flew into and out of clouds as she yelled, Yee-haw! And Ahoy! And even Beware, evildoers! After a while, Dragon Lil left the helm, allowing the ship to sail slowly forward in a straight line. She looked around, probably searching for something else to do. Her eyes came to rest on the suns. My ears prickled as I sensed danger. Dragon Lil ran to the wheel and spun the ship around. From my hiding place, I stood up. How dangerous would this get? Would I have to get involved? Bunny's revenge began to sail through the air in a straight line towards one of the suns. The two suns were close to each other, but I could clearly see which one she was aiming the ship at. Faster and faster the ship flew. I stood up now. Should I appear? Should I roar and stop her through fear? With the full might of my voice, which so far she has never heard. Faster and faster Bunny's revenge flew. I opened my mouth, and then a voice shouted with all its force, Joy! Stop the ship! Dragonfather had appeared on the deck behind Joy. Dad, I'm just... Stop the ship! He didn't wait for her to respond. He ran to the wheel and spun it around. Bunny's revenge turned and he slowed it down to a stop in midair. Dad, I just... Listen to me, he yelled at her, looking down at the young child and flapping his finger above her face. The sons are dangerous. Dangerous. You don't know how dangerous they are, he pointed at the sons. You get close, you burn. You... Burn, all at once, all of a sudden. You burn and you die like that, he snapped his fingers. It's too hot up close, and we can't survive. Got it? Dragonlin's nose began to twitch. She looked like she would cry. She pursed her lips together, as she usually does when she refuses to say something. Look at me, he pointed at her face. He pointed her face towards him by guiding her chin with his fingers. Look at me, no. This one, no, I will lose you. You will lose me. You will die. And, and it will hurt every day you die. Got it? I want your word that you will never, ever, ever get close to the suns. Dragon Lil's pout disappeared. She nodded. He looked in her eyes, then, apparently satisfied, looked away. Good. Let's eat breakfast then. Told. 
by the way, dragon. Hashtags, the sons, joy, Justin. And I think there's not much to say about this uh, for now, except that there's a reason, you know, say that saying die, you will die is not enough for a child. Sometimes, you know, they don't know what dying is. Sometimes they say, so I'll die. So what? They can't realize what it means. So at least for me, at least that's what I do and what I prefer to do as a parent. I would much rather tell them it would hurt them every day than say they will die. Uh, I knew a parent one who said, you know, uh, if you run into the street, you will die. And then you're, uh, and then, you know, the mother said, and then, you know, I'll be sad. And I said, maybe one day he'll want you to be sad and he'll run into the street to make you sad. You know, just tell him that it'll hurt him. It'll hurt him. It'll break all his bones and he'll be in pain all day, every day. Anyway, that's like one line inside that about parenting, uh, my little uh, brand of parenting. There's stuff like that everywhere in uh, the Squash Buckler Diaries. Uh, and I thought I should mention it. So, hope you enjoyed this one. Hope you're enjoying all, you've enjo- hope you've enjoyed all or most of the 160 Squash Buckler Diaries so far. We are just beginning. This is going to be an entire life. So, Come back tomorrow for episode 161 called Holding Your Breath. And now, the credits. The Squash Buckler Diaries are written and read by me, Guy Hassan. All the tags mentioned in this story are searchable at the website. You can find all the stories there in written form and in fact 150 Squash Buckler Diaries more. The Squash Buckler Diaries is the diary of Joy Shelley, the girl who lives in dreams. She'll be called the Forgotten Girl by her father. She'll be a true heroine. She'll change the world. This project shows her entire life from birth to death. Check out the website at guyhasson.com. That's G-U-Y-H-A-S-S-O-N.com. I've been an author and playwright for more than 30 years, and this is the first time I've used the guyhasson.com website. Because the girl in the dream is my life project. If you have questions, if you want to comment, please do. You can comment at the website or email me at guyhasson at gmail.com. That's G-U-Y-H-A-S-S-O-N, G-U-Y-H-A-S-S-O-N, at gmail.com. The theme music is called Brass Gentleman and is created by Thomas Harudek. My name is Guy Hasson, and this is my life project. Come back tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow for more. and faster the ship flew. I stood up now. Should I appear? Should I roar? Should I roar? 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 Should I roar? Roar? Should I roar? Should I roar and stop her through fear?